Yo, I uh, just want to do a quick little update about the um, vinyl grab bag that I got from Near Mint. Um, so, I know in the last video I was kind of like, uh, it's going to be incumbent on me to kind of sell off the joints, the extra joints that I got. Um, but then I kind of was thinking about it and I was just kind of like, I don't know, I kind of felt a little bit finesse because it's a little bit like, y'all can't sell them, I'm going to sell them. If, he, if you guys are giving them out to everybody who's ordering the grab bag, then like, it doesn't seem like it's there's a big market for this record. And uh, like Discogs prices were like, I don't know, 26 for the cheapest. Some of them, depending on like if they're the OB or things like that, are going to be much more pricey. And so I was kind of like, I guess I could take them to my local record store and kind of like try and sell them to them. And if they use Discogs prices, maybe I get 15, 20 bucks or something like that. But then I just kind of felt like I got finesse and now I'm finessing the record store because truthfully, if everybody's getting two or three pain provided profits, then it's probably pretty reasonable that you shouldn't have to pay more than 10 or 15 bucks to get one in the coming weeks. So to kind of just grab the joints and then go to the record store and then be like, yo, I gotta get, yo, I got these, can I sell them too? And they give you a more than fair price because they're not aware of the context. I was like, nah, it doesn't feel great. So anyway, I just, what I decided to do was hit up, um, near mint. Uh, I emailed them. Um, and then homie hit me back and he hit me back real quick actually. And he was real cool about it. Um, I kind of just told him that I basically told him that what I was telling y'all that I kind of felt a little bit finessed. It was kind of disappointing to, um, kind of go for the five pack. I was like, if I had known there were only three records available, I would have just gotten the three pack instead of the five pack, you know, and saved 10 bucks. So I was like, yeah, it just was kind of deflating to kind of open this package and then just see pain provided profit after pain provided profit after pain provided profit. And um, Corey, the guy who runs Near Mint, he was super cool about it, super chill. He was like, um, that's definitely an error. We weren't we weren't meaning to do that. Um, you definitely shouldn't have received three of the same record. Uh, I really apologize. And then he said, I'll send a couple more records. So pretty freaking cool of homie Corey. Um, I will update y'all when I get the next package, I guess. I mean, he said a couple records, which is kind of cool. So I kind of presume that means I might get two other records that I don't currently have. That'd be pretty cool. I don't really know what else they're, uh, they're giving out, but like I said in the last one, I was really just hoping to get some stuff that I never heard. And I'm pretty eager to just hear new stuff, you know? So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the update. And, uh, shout out to Corey, shout out to Near Mint. Uh, like I said, my the first time I the first time I purchased from them was to get a um, was to get stove, reasonable drought, and uh, the pre order for Live at the Tabernacle SD NAC, which was top three albums of last year in my opinion of twenty twenty three, really amazing album, um, and that just took a while because I think they were waiting on the the pre order, so that arrived like later than I was expecting, but. Other than that, I didn't have any qualms about Near Mint. They shipped it great. And then this time they shipped it almost immediately. I ordered on Friday. I got the tracking number by Sunday. I think the package was in my hand on like Wednesday or something like that. Um, and then I think I sent the email on Friday maybe. And I think he got back to me on Saturday. So pretty freaking cool. And uh, yeah, today's Monday. I haven't gotten a tracking number or anything like that. I don't know if he's going to send one. Frankly, I haven't even replied to the email. I'm about to reply to the email and say, hey, I appreciate it. That's cool of you. Um, and I hope to be in receipt of whatever you send soon. Yeah, this video is super boring. The last like minute and a half at least is so pointless. Bye.